Well, Sato, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Richard Matthews Real Estate uh, Auction today. What a beautiful day we have here in George's Hall. Property is going to be auctioned uh, and seen right throughout the world on uh, on Gavel Live. I'm Peter Baldwin, the auctioneer, on behalf of all of Richard Matthews, of Rich, uh, Matthew Everingham here, uh, Laura Ranieri, uh, Patrick Scudino, my lead, and uh, we sell today the uh, the property here in the Nimbo Avenue. Now, the property comes under the Vendor's Contract, the Property Stock and Business Agents Act. The terms and conditions of the auction today, the subject to reserve price, the highest bidder will be the purchaser. In the event of a disputed bid, the auctioneer is the sole arbitrator. The decision of the auctioneer is final. The auctioneer can refuse any bid that he feels is not in the vendor's best interest. Vendor's right to bid is reserved and specified as one bid. And a bidder is deemed to be the principal bidder and as part of the auction, an authority is handed to us, allowing a person to bid for it on behalf of another. At the fall of the hammer, we need 10% deposit of the purchase price to be paid by the successful bidder. Bidders need to be registered to bid. We can only accept bids from those who are registered to bid. And we need the bids to come in before the gavel falls, as we don't accept late bids and we can't. So if you're contemplating bidding today, make sure you've got that bidding card and uh, you're right in the hunt for the property. Top-notch conveyancing, say 7 and Embo Avenue in George's Hall, Loft 30. It's deposited plan 235447. It's a comprehensively renovated uh, residence over the uh, the one level, very, very nicely um, bagged in the, uh, in the Mediterranean nut fashion. A lock-up garage, very skillfully up uh, landscape gardens. We have that fabulous covered alfresco area, which is a long, uh, deep farm area for entertaining. The black butt floors, the blinds, built in wardrobes, the clothesline curtains, dishwasher, fixed floor coverings, insect screens, light fittings, rainfood stove, the TV antenna, the air conditioner, and the garden shed is included. 35 days is our settlement. Here's been a drain water affecting as noted and covered in L142463. With the title, the drainage, a copy of the deposited plan, all annexed to the contract. Takes us back to a subdivision of around 1967. And you saw the um, the original black and white photo of this lovely uh, present or out avenue that it is, the cul-de-sac street. Very, very smartly renovated home, this one. Sits on the top side, so you've got this lovely sense of elevation to it. But every centimetre of this property has some sort of space usage. So that's really to the benefit of anyone who lives here. Lovely stone tops in the in the kitchen with the island bench. We have the, uh, the bedrooms arranged to one quarter of the or uh, one uh, zone to the uh, to the residence. There's the uh, the multi-purpose rooms that you have. One of which could serve as a fourth bedroom with a Murphy bed there. Also the uh, the casual dining as well. But you have a lovely open space for the uh, living area. And one thing that I'm sure you noticed is just when you're out to the uh, to the rear of the uh, the living area, you look through the floor to ceiling glass. Some of it is louvered glass. Some of it is is uh, sliding glass. And you just have this zen sort of image of the back garden and that's a very clever thing architecturally speaking because the outside becomes part of your inside, your inside becomes part of your outside, not a seam and you just this joyous sort of view over the garden and what a beautiful back garden it is, something you'd expect to see in um, in Radwick North, into Queen's Park or probably into, uh, into Annandale in that area where people deploy so much money into their gardens. That is very, very evident of that one. It's a great spot here. We can walk to the Stephen Folks Reserve. We're in touch with all of the local schools. It's a blissfully quiet um, cul-de-sac street. And we endorse this property as we send it to public auction now and call on you to start. We look at some sales there and congratulations to the lovely family who just purchased the residence in, uh, in Caroline Crescent. That property which fetched $912,000 just a few moments ago. And good on those people. And also that lovely family. And of course we had the sale earlier in the day at Yvonne Crescent at Bass Hill, $1,505,000. So there, ladies and gentlemen, it comes up to you now for the opening bid. What are we going to hear? Step forward now. Beautifully renovated property. Turn the key and begin living. It's a super home and we've got to start. What's it to be? Where do you frame your offer? Last sale of any note in George's Hall was over the 900 mark and it hit the 912. I'd be hoping that you'd step forward now and give us something with a nine in front of it to open the bidding, and it should do that every day. It's a beautiful home, this one. What's your call? North of nine, I don't know what your, your feeling is today. Is it 9.20, 9.10, somewhere around there? Would you match up there and give me that opening bid? This really is a lovely family home. Spotlessly presented, genuine family property. Always you can see that it's one of those homes that's just been tidy from day one. He's got an even 900. Do I see $900,000 or thereabouts as your opening bid? Would you like to come on board now? You buy into these quiet streets, that's the key. Am I seeing $900,000 or thereabouts as an opening bid? Would you like to step right up now and give me the call? Plenty of discussions going on here. Plenty of people around here today who love to own this home. 
beautiful gardens to the front and rear. Very welcoming sort of home and a very, very easy home to live in. Entertain in the home, you can have your guests come over and stay. It's a buy to hold this one. 900, firm 900 to start the bidding if it's somewhere there, or maybe if you just sub that figure, you might like to get going. What's the feeling here today? If you've got nine, you've got some fight in the game, you look of all of any of the property sales that we could give you of any note or of any um, relevance to this property are all over the nine mark. So we're gonna jump up now and make that call. If you've registered, you've got competition. There are people here today who'd love to buy the home. Do we set sale now, make it nine? If it's a little bit softer, that 890 or somewhere around there. Somewhere in that sort of order. Well, I'm quite comfortable placing the seller's bid if you'd like me to do that, Matt. What's the feeling, everyone? Okay, well, in light of what we've um, what the feedback for post or pre-auction has been to everyone, I'll place $880,000 as a vendor's bid to start. It'll be $880,000 now. That clears the air for everyone. Now you can set sale and make your next bid. I'd hate the bid, no, I'd a bid, no, I'd a bid, no, $880,000 in the opening bid, a bid, $880,000 now. Will you make it $890,000 or better? You've got to be in it to buy it. If you've made your mind up to find a fine home, this is the one you should be bidding on. I'd hate the bid, now the bid is $880,000 in an opening bid, and a bid is $880,000. Give me $890,000 now, let's roll on with the next bid. It's a super presentation of a home. $880,000 bid, the bid is $880,000 now. With $10,000 more, you can join me. Would you give me eight hundred and ninety now? You love the home, let's see you into a property today. Good on you, Laura. You worked very, very hard today. The bid is $890,000 now. Eight ninety bid, the bid is $890,000 bid, but now we take the bid with Laura over there to the left-hand side. Eight ninety bid, the bid is $890,000 now. Firm your feelings up, make it $900,000 to advance. Eight nine the bid, now the bid is $890,000 now. Call it off to the left-hand side. You'd surely be involved at $900,000 or better. Eight ninety on bid, the bid is $890,000 now. Took the bid to the left now as I call for an advance. Take the $10,000 bids around the ring here today. Eight a bid, now eight a bid, now $890,000 bid, and I've got $890,000. It's not too late to register. If you think the price is right for you, get a card and make sure you're in the bidding. Eight hundred and ninety bid, the bid is $890,000 now, and I look for your advance. $890,000. What? Vice. Don't want to miss it today and find out the one that you've got to get to around the corner is not near as good. The heart's set on it. And the mind is set on it. Be in the bidding. The bid is $890,000 now. And I thank Madam for her keen bid. We believe that we've got very fair and reasonable expectations for the home. So that's the easy bit. Or that's, well, as many people say, that's a hard bit that just comes out of the equation. Your best way forward in this one, if you're looking at owners, you're trying to buy the home, is to ensure that you're holding that top bidder. With Madam and Sir, we hold the bid of 890. Over there with Pat and Laura. Phoenixly positioned, quiet. George's Hall cul-de-sac. Yeah, good access back to um, Bass Hill Shopping Centre and the like. Just for the advice, Laura, if you'd be just kind enough to, to mention to, you, to the bidders over there that hold the bid at $890,000 now, we're in a, a situation where there's just a, a, a slight differential between the uh, what we'd like to sell the property at and what we hold as a bid. Nonetheless, the parties hold a lot of fire in the game there, is holding the top bid here today. We don't have a big distance to move. I would implore anyone who feels that they could do better, who want a chance of buying the property today, make sure you are holding that top bid. The, the highest bidder has the first offer of the written down reserve and we will start negotiations. 
as the sun pours down onto this lovely lush front lawn here. The bid is $890,000 now and I call for your advance. I bid now at a bid now at a bid now $890,000 bid for now in a beautifully renovated home. I bid $890,000 bid for now and we're going to hear in advance. If not, we start negotiations straight away. $890,000 once, twice, I'll make it third and final. All done. Okay. We're going to deal with you. Thank you for your offer. It's a sporting gesture to, to make a bid at a public auction, and you have done that. I thank you. We'll start negotiations with you now. In the meantime, we thank you all very, very much for coming along today to our